Hi guys, welcome to another fun-filled video by Pacific Rim. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I skirt vinyl two-tone. I have here a 12 inch 861 by Eric Koyanagi. It has a beautiful purple top and silver bottom. So my vinyl I've chosen are of course purple and silver. Um, this is just my own technique of how I've learned to, to two-tone vinyl. I really hope it works for you guys. What you're going to need is of course your vinyl, newel skirts, I have my super glue, pencil, scissors, razor blade, and the Rigging floss I use is 30 pound nylon. It's just what we use here at Pacific Rim. I'm going to actually be starting this video with my vinyl pre-cut and my newels tied on. If you need reference on how to do that, go ahead and go back to my first video I've made, How to Skirt with Vinyl Part 1, and you guys can catch up with me where I'm at here. So, got everything together, and uh, let's get this party started. Okay, now that I have my newel skirts all tied on, ready to go, I'm going to start measuring out my vinyl. So. It's two-tone, I'm gonna wanna make it, I wanna make it half and half, so let's start with silver actually on the bottom, just so I measure it up with my newels here because my newels are pretty symmetrical. They come to about halfway up. So I'm gonna mark that with my newel here. Okay, so right there looks like the start. And then wrap it up to that other newel on this side, and I'm gonna take my pen, and I'm gonna mark it just about where half is. And vinyl, the nice thing about vinyl is you don't always need a ruler to cut it straight because you could just follow the stitches. Okay, I don't know if you could see that there, but that's about half silver, maybe a little more, which is fine. It's really creator's choice on how you want your vinyl. I would say as long as it's symmetrical, you could do three tones, you could do stripes on the sides, but just always try to make it symmetrical. The fish like symmetrical. So now I'm gonna take my purple and I'm gonna line it up perfectly with my silver. Vinyl needs to be precise, so just watch out for that, not to cut it too loose. So I'm going to find just about where it hits that silver on the other side, and I'm going to mark that. We might be doing a few cuts here just to make sure it's all, all nice and even, so no problem if you cut it wrong the first time. Okay, These are my two pieces so far. You can see there's still a little bit of overlap just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna just trim up one of these skirts. I'm gonna trim up the silver. And if you don't wanna cut up a full leg length, I kind of keep the leg even, but just at the top here, I cut off a little sliver more of the vinyl. Okay, let's line this up and make sure it looks good. With both vinyl pieces on, looks pretty even to me, maybe a little bit extra. But with two-tone, it's a little easier to tie than the, the single vinyl just because there's two strips so you could stretch them out individually. So I think this is good. I'm gonna get my line of floss here. Now this is just all about making sure it's even before you tie it. You have to tie them both down at the same time so really, really try to make them even and where you want them. The end of my vinyl is going to be hitting the end of my lure head here, nice and even around the sides. Take my vinyl and I'm going to hold it real tight just with this hand so it doesn't move. got to find my end here. And I'm going to tie that around kind of a bit above just so it, it loops down and grabs it. And you see here, this is actually still way too much vinyl. See, what you don't want is that. So I'm gonna trim it up even more. A 
looks like I got that pretty nice and even now. So I'm gonna, I lost my slip knot, but I'm just gonna tie this as tight as possible. Cut off your excess floss. All right, so let's see how that looks. So far, so good. So I have no overlap at that vinyl crease there, see? But they meet up perfectly. So it looks good. My next step now is to take my razor blade and cut off all this extra vinyl under here. And make sure to try to do it in one strip because we're gonna be using some of that later. Now that that's all cut up, I'm gonna take this and cut an even smaller piece so I could use it to seam these two up, to, to seal those two together. So, maybe about a half an inch, cut there. Okay, something like that. And I'm gonna make sure it's gonna sit well. See underneath, it needs to sit so both sides can make it on there. Both sides can meet in the middle there, but it doesn't pop out below. See, that looks like a good size. Okay. And since there are two seams now, instead of the one, like usual monotone vinyl, you do need to cut another little strip like that. So it's gonna be two total. So I got my two strips. Now I gotta get my glue. And I wanna glue only half of that for one side. Okay, half glue there. I'm gonna put it down on this side here. Not too far up and not too far down. Just a little bit of space there. Careful not to get any glue on your on your lower head. If you do, we use acetone to help clean it up a little bit. Just be careful not to grind your lower head with acetone. It's not the best for it, but a little bit won't hurt it. Okay, so that's sitting and drying. Looks good. Now I'm gonna do the other side here. Okay. Now with this side first, I'm gonna go ahead, take my glue, and I'm gonna glue this side over and make it as nice and even with that other side as possible. So I'm gonna take a bit of glue, put it on the second half of this little strip here, okay? And pull this over, let's get this on there. Really make sure you pinch and pull. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna do the other side now. Okay, same deal with this side. You're gonna wanna pull it over nice and, nice and even with that side as well. So I'll take my glue. The thing about two-tone vinyl is since you are pulling it from different ways, sometimes it can have a bit of a slant to it. But for the most part, my it tends to stay straight on you, which is nice. And looks like, like a success to me. Here is our finished product. It looks beautiful. I cleaned up a bit of the extra residue with some acetone. Um, so yeah, two tones, very fun. If you want to try some new, new color combinations, it certainly opens up a lot more possibilities for you. If it does seem a little too complex, just give us a call and we can skirt it for you ourselves. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, find us on Instagram or Facebook and we'll help you out however we can. Thank you again for watching. Have a good day.